All right, guys, today we're going to work on sketching um, portraits. And um, something I tend to do a lot is when I get a, I don't, don't do this in like one of your actual pictures at home. But what I tend to do is I tend to do some of the lines already on the face here. So it's a lot easier when I'm drawing it. So I'm going to just go through it really quick. Sketch of it here. I'm gonna sketch it pretty small, so it's not like gonna take too long to do, if that makes any sense. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna sketch the oval shape of it, right? And keep in mind you're sketching a female, their necks are typically thinner, so you wanna keep that in mind. guys. Adults, especially male necks, are usually bigger. So that's something you want to keep in mind. And the neck comes like a cup, like that, more like a cup like this. And the, and the oval shape just sits on it to hold it up. And then the shoulders connect to that cup, if that makes any sense, like this. So it's like a cup here. The shoulders connect. This is your head. It would be like right there. So just keep that in mind. So now we're going to do a line of symmetry for the face here. Um, sorry, I'm doing all the recordings here by myself. So I did not get someone to help me with the with the camera here today. So it's kind of kind of hard for me to do. So you notice I'm sketching. First, I want to sketch the nose. Edge of the nose is where the eyes start. You want to do that, right? And also, you want to keep in mind that the eyes are symmetrical. So what's on one side is going to actually be on the other. And you want to sketch that in there really quick. So already, I'm up into two minutes on this video. I'm trying to make this really, really quick. So I'm probably not going to clean it up. But also, you guys are going to have handouts. So... When I sketch the lips, the lips are usually like in somewhere in the middle of the eyes. So you want to keep that in mind. And of course, the eyes are in the middle of the face. So look at this handout right here. So it goes step by step by step. I'm going to post it to you guys. So in the middle of the face, you're going to have your eyes. Three fourths where you're going to have your nose. Fourth fifth where you're going to have your mouth. And about a quarter way here, you're going to have your hairline. If that makes any sense, you keep going step by step. You have the features. You do not need to draw those lines like that straight up for the nose. All of that will be values that will make it look a bit more real when you're done. You do not need to add any more. So just keep that in mind as you guys are working. And I'm going to probably give you guys a little bit more time on this assignment because this is a tough one. Um, this is just frontal view, so do not complicate it with like a side view or anything else. Just keep in mind this is frontal view, and this is quite the challenge. So notice I'm sketching a lot, right? So I'm going line over line trying to find the right shape constantly. And about right here is where our hairline is, right? About a quarter way in, right? Now, I'm only sketching with a mechanical pencil here because I'm only using a mechanical pencil for one reason, because um, I'm doing something really small. But I'm going to switch to a regular number two pencil in a minute after sketching everything. So this would be like step one and step two here would be this. If that makes any sense. Now step three is adding values. So guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna erase some of these lines to give us our indicators. And let's go add some values in here. And you're gonna just sketch a little bit more to here, a little bit more here. We can just leave it like right here for the portrait. 
and we're just gonna push everything forward and back. So let's go ahead and add some value. So the eyes, I'm just typically gonna go with like a typical mid-gray tone. And my eraser is where I add all the light spots. So if I see a light spot in there, and I keep going back with my pencil to add where the super darks are in the eyes. So it starts to look like an eye. And typically what's on one side is gonna be on the other, but keep in mind, one side of the face is always lighter than the other. Most times in photography, that's like an ideal shot that they want to get. So you guys want to keep that in mind. And of course, like when we did values in class, we just use our pencil like this. And you want to go nice and easy. You do not want to overwork yourself. So this is where you would put all that nose detail and all that stuff in there. You do not have to like, um... and again, if you're watching what I'm doing here, I'm erasing all the lines that got me there. And this is pretty difficult stuff to do, but it will get you better prepared to understand angles and where things are. Because next week we're just gonna do like a side view. So this week we're gonna do frontal view, next week we're gonna do side view, and the following week we're gonna do like a three, four view. So side view is way easier to do. So we're just gonna add some values here that it, that appears on the nose. And this image that I'm looking at is pretty hard for me to look at here. So. So you want to do that. If you feel the need to like leave some white areas with your eraser, and you want to keep in mind, you want to keep it nice and easy and light for as much as you can. You want to get all the areas in there that is just nice and easy. You don't want to do it too dark. So only the, the areas that I would probably put where the darks are is where the eyes are. And now I probably use my mechanical pencil here Go back in because again, this is a really small drawing. Typically I wouldn't do it, but in this case, I'm going to use it. And you already start to see how it's moving. Oh, it's already into eight minutes recording. That's a long time. <laughs> and I'm not even like halfway done yet. So, and again, you want to go back and forth and clear up details, etc., etc. So you can make it look more like her. And you put the eyelashes in there. Yeah. You want to go back and forth to keep looking at the image, keep looking at that. I don't expect you guys to spend eight minutes. I expect you guys to spend more like an hour because this is not an easy task, especially when you're just starting out to do it. It's not necessarily the easiest thing. Always underneath the neck where the shadows are is always a little darker. Plus it pushes the face forward. And now we can just add the hair in. And, and again, for hair, I, I tend not to overthink it. I just tend to make it darker since she has dark hair. I just tend to make it a little darker than her, than the values on her face, if that makes any sense. And where the super dark areas are, I will tend to do that. So there we go. I know this is a, a bad recording because I am working back and forth. And you notice I'm just pulling the lines where I think the lines are. If in here, where this might be darker. And it has like some light strands here. I am doing that. Okay, so. And 
and you would go back in and you would do all the details for the ears. Now, the ears, typically your ears are, I think my mechanical pencil is running out here. Your ears are typically between your eyes. So you notice even there, they had some detail here. Your ears are typically between your eyes and your nose. Your ears are always between your eyes and your nose. So, and if you, and again, the handout will be there online. So you guys will have the handout. So this is just a quick sketch of it. And for me to like push everything back and forth, I would just put like a little mid-tonal gray here, or I can make it really, really dark. But I'm just gonna leave it mid-tonal gray. And if I were to put the dress and all that extra detail in there, I would do that. And then I would put this here in front and all that extra jazz, right? But I'm not going to do all of that good stuff. I'm just going to keep it simple and keep it moving because I know you guys do not want to watch this forever. So, and again, you notice I'm not even drawing a line for the lips on the bottom. I'm just going to value everything basically. And you guys could have to look at it and go back where you think the light spots are, like that big white spot. Use your eraser. And light values and when, by doing that you keep pre that white area the white value spots that's that's simply that's just simply it and if you think you over darken an area there's nothing wrong with using your eraser so that's basically it And that should be like a basic sketch of someone. Uh, of course, this one doesn't quite look like her because I probably don't have enough time. And I'm trying to rush through it. So, oh. Trying to make it look as much as possible. That's her eyes here. It is. So, there we go. And we would have to put all the little detail in for the clothes and. Yada yada yada, all the pattern marks and stuff for the dress, I guess. So, oh, that's flowers. So, yeah, I I guess I didn't do it. All right. So that's basically it for this week.